Good day, fellow YouTubers. Mr. Chez Poulet with Chez Poulet Homestead. Damn, that introduction's getting pretty good, eh? So, today, uh, yesterday, we uh, took some water out of the pool. We're going to start to take her down. Garden's pretty well fit finny there. We are going to give the birds a hanging basket just for fun to see what they do with it. I got them trained like dogs now. You go away. Let's see what you guys do with this. That one with the floppy comb there is always trying to get to the door. <laughs> the water is going to be good in here for a while. Might even cut some of that that thermal wrap off the off the top and uh, wrap it around it. To be honest with you, I don't know if they'll peck at it, but there's five gallons of water in there anyway. It's going to take that a while to freeze, and then by that time, I'm going to have a water heater. I'd like to buy one of those water heaters that you just put underneath those and then only keep like a gallon of water in that. Wonder if that would work as good. I was thinking of buying a, a heated dog a heated dog bowl, but um, I don't know if that's gonna work as good. Because for one they're gonna get it dirty. Because that's what they like to do. Stanley's getting massive. Much bigger than the girls know. Sal, go away. Stanley's coming to see what's what's all the stir. Figure I'd give them a treat. Gave them a watermelon yesterday. They're loving their coop. They like the. If you guys are just, if you guys are just tuning in right now, we got the box up there that they use for uh, for laying. So they're actually using that. Didn't really have to train them. They just went right there. 50-pound uh, feeder, 5-gallon water. Now that is not a door. It's just cover. It's uh, it's a cover to go over that for the nighttime. Now I need to buy. I need to uh, not buy. I'm going to build uh, build one that slides up and down now on the outside, and I can just pull the cord from like outside. 17 degrees pretty humid not very really good for growing cannabis outside 73 uh, percent humidity there's the heat lamp I got her on a timer now about two timers I got this uh, set up to come on at 7 and off at 7 you can see Stanley's spurs, they're starting to grow. Pretty good too. There's a good shot. He's gonna be something pretty whenever he gets bigger. Look at him now.
Mm, that's probably Rosie right there. I find Rosie, she puffs right up because she's real aggressive. And Henrietta is up, like... Well, see, she's picking. That's Rosie picking at Stanley. That's Henrietta going over. And Sal's always by the door, always by me. She is. She's always stuck to my feet. Hey, babe. Hey. Oh, chill out. I need some names for the white ones. Piper had named, uh, named that one there. I don't know if it was Sprinkle. I think it's Sprinkle. eating all the leaves there won't be nothing left after that's the whole point I got I got five more girls eat up I gotta cut down some kale I'm gonna get them uh, get them eating that garden whatever's left that they can eat I trimmed up uh, my wedding cake She's a monster. 90 inches, seven and a half feet. She's all trimmed up. Nice big top buds. Pretty good size for outdoor. I'm gonna keep her all trimmed up like all these big fan leaves. I missed those apparently. Nights have been getting pretty cold. She's starting to turn purple, like I told everybody she does. So it's definitely the cold doing that uh, one of my last uh, one of my last grows it was uh, it wasn't purple so oh, got a broken bud we got a casualty anyway, we'll leave her dry up and the garden's pretty much toast The cherry tomatoes are still flowering. Got a few beans. Oh, we got more beans now. Lots of beans there. They're really, really juicy. Starting to get some little tiny cherries. Now these all fell over. No. You can see the pea pods. That's a big one. Save those for Katrice. She'll, she'll like those. Now, there's lots of tomatoes. Now, these all fell over and they're just growing on the ground now. Tomato plants will pretty much grow on their side. They're, well, cannabis is no different. Cannabis is identical pretty much to a tomato plant and how it grows and how strong it is. And if you look at, like, usually the bottom of a tomato plant, you'll see more, like, see how, see if you zoom in here, not zoom in, but uh, can you see down, down here how it's all hairy? Or even here? See right there, right here? Now this is all new roots wanting to wanting to grow from the bottom of the stalk. Now cannabis does exactly the same. So if you keep on planting up higher and higher and higher, you'll be able to uh, to grow more stronger roots, stronger roots, better plants. 
so here we harvested all our potatoes found one the other day and you can see the kale's not going to last much longer here so i'm going to cut a big bunch today and then uh, maybe another big bunch tomorrow all the broccoli seeds have all dried out now i just haven't harvested these uh these seeds but they're beautiful they're nice and black uh, i'll show you one real quick you literally just open them up like this and they fall right out there you can see nice nice black broccoli seeds you can see I, I think some of them are some of them are the outsides are molding well, maybe not they need to be picked I'm just gonna cut the whole thing down put them inside of a bag and shake the bag and whatever seeds I get it's still gonna be a pile of seeds there's lots of green here you can see all the spinach uh, that seed it too so I'll take some of those seeds may as well all these steaks I can pretty well pick back out now for the for the tomatoes there's still tomatoes growing on them but uh, nothing worse worth the saving all the tomatoes are turning uh, turning red now actually we got some big big green ones here that can be picked but you can see the stems the stems dead so those are gonna die if I don't pick them uh, this is the zucchini now they were all pretty well picked off I think there's one, there's one, but it's dying, so that plant's done too. wasn't a bad, uh, wasn't a bad plant, but I just planted it too, uh, too early. You can see the snail on the bottom. Bring that to the birds. I like that. I don't like giving them the squash, uh, the squash because uh, they're really sharp. But not pretty long. It's a good, uh, good six foot. One squash on that little one there, and these ones I didn't get very much either. I want to pick all that so I can get the garden tilled up, so I can uh, put my uh, compost and spread it out on the garden, so we can have some uh, some nice fertilizer for next year. All these tomatoes I got to pick. These are the ones I left. This is probably all going to end up getting killed, I'd imagine. Daisies didn't, didn't. Oh, they're starting to. Such an ugly, uh, ugly plant. Some broccoli that was a waste of time. I won't be, uh, I won't be doing that next year. And cucumbers, oh, we got a little one there. One here that's pretty much done. These, these didn't grow of, well, sort of as planned, but like I mean, this one was nice, but it should have been should have been planted earlier and right into the ground so like the cucumbers would have grown longer I mean if I would have done this with the kale right off the start I would have uh, but I want bigger kale than that that kale's not as big as I expected I expected it to be much much larger now I didn't have a whole lot of nutrient also in the garden so that played probably a factor in uh, how much it grows right so 
next year is going to be much different with uh, manure from Chez Poulet and all the, the chickens. There's nothing really higher nitrogen than uh, chicken manure. So chicken manure, uh, you know, is one of your highest uh, nitrogen content. So can't wait to, uh, to use that. All this bedding that you see is all turning pretty nice and dark. Let's see if we can't really, we can never really get through that, uh, the cage. But I'm gonna scrape up all that. And so these two, so there's eight feet in each one, and they're about maybe six to eight inches deep, probably. So it's not a whole lot of compost, but I'm gonna do that. And it's still early, so I'm probably going to clean out the, the coop. I wasn't going to, but uh, there's still lots of time to get some uh, bedding down as a, as a floor before winter. So it's only September. You have all October, all November. You still got two months to go. So I'll put down a couple bales of hay inside there, and it'll be pretty good bedding. I just want the compost because there's 24 feet of coop right here. And I figure 24 feet, and this, I believe I made it about 30 feet. I, I was telling people 50, but I don't think it's 50. I think it's more like 30 feet. So almost as long as the, the coop. The coop's 24 by 8, and inside is 10. So this is 16, I think, by 30. So shouldn't be too bad like i said that's about six inches deep in there so we should have about you know if i spread it all out about three three inches probably and stir that in once i uh get it all tilled up should be a good start for next year and then uh next uh in the spring whenever i clean out the chicken coop i'll put it in a pile and that will be my compost for the end of the year again. So we'll have that compost plus all the compost again for uh, for the end of next fall. So planning ahead, trying to clean up the yard, all uh, all the swings, trampoline can wait till uh, later on. Swings too. Oh, we got to clean up the garage and get all this stuff neatly packed away. All right, all just wanted to show you uh, show you what I did to the wedding cake plant and showed you Chez Poulet and hope you're all having a good day. Show it to Mildred, Isabel, Kenny. Might come see you tomorrow if you're around. My day off today and tomorrow. I got to do some cleaning up around the yard and clean up the basement and the house and got a few things to do and then uh, head over and get myself a new uh, a new vape from Pops Cannabis, 71 Interprovincial. That's where uh, in Listagush, that's where I get my vapes. They're awesome. They have all different kinds, indigo, sativa, whatever you, whatever you want to smoke. Nothing easier than just puffing on your vape. I got one in my pocket. I just... So this is my drizzle pen. Peaches and cream. This one's a hybrid. I don't like the hybrids as much. I like an indigo. I'm an indigo smoker. Uh, I like sativa for the daytime, but I mean, I, I really I like indigo all the time. So this is the pen, you can see it's not full. She's thick, she's gonna fall down to the, to the wick. But all you do, once this camera focuses, is just puff on the end of that. There's not even, the burner is built in. And you keep it charged from the bottom. You screw that gold cap off and there's a micro USB and you just plug that in and keep it charged. Forty dollars. 
well, probably 40 different kinds, flavors. Anyway, hope you're all having a good day. Put the rain gutter on the house. Forgot to show you guys that too. Trying to end this video, but I keep on finding new things to show you guys. So I butted in nice and nice and tight. I need to silicone that. Something I need to do, but it's not a very nice day, so can't do that today. This one I'm not finished yet. It's in a bad spot. Pretty high up. A couple nails I still need to put in, but the tree's in the way, so I'm trying to figure out what the best uh, plan of attack there is. But I gotta make sure these uh, all these these spikes are in because there's only two there, and because uh, once the snow gets up there and the weight of the snow is gonna rip that right off. But anyway. We wanted to eavesdrop over this for a long time because it rained and the rain was going down into the house and wetting all the floor and anyway. So now it goes down here. I'm going to turn that so that it goes out in the driveway. That's what this piece was for because it, it, the angle is different. So you put it like this. Instead of it going like that. Alright. Shape a late. Out.